In this tutorial, I will teach you how to rotate your player towards mouse position in Unity. This is a 2D shooting game project that I have explained in one of my previous tutorials. I want to make my player rotate in a slightly different way, by moving the mouse. But how can I do that? Let me show you. First of all, you need to add a new scene that will only have a player and a camera. Since the first scene contains a player and a circle object, the player is positioned above the circle and rotates around it. Unlike the first scene, the player in this scene will be positioned to the center. You can add it simply by adding a 2D object. Go to 2D object, sprites and select any sprite you want. I will pick a triangle, so it will be considered a player object. But before going to the c -sharp script, you need to set up the input action. Add an action and name it Look. Set the action type to Vector2. Do it like this. Add a binding. Go to Mouse Position. And save the input action's asset. Now you need to make a c -sharp script that will be for the player Look Rotation. I mean, it will be a script that will rotate your player according to your mouse position. So, let's go to the C-sharp script. Private Camera Main Camera It will be the main camera component. Private Vector2 Mouse position. This will be the mouse position and it will be the value that is loaded from the input actions asset. To make the things more simplified, I will add the public void on look. Before adding, you need to add the input action callback context. You also need to introduce the input system. It will be explained later. And inside you need the if statement, if context performed. The context is called ctx in my case. And inside the if statement you have to put this. Mouse position equals ctx read value vector2. This reads the vector2 value, which is already defined in the input actions asset. Now, in the private void update, you need to add this kind of line. Vector3 world position. This will be the position of the scene, not the viewport. Main camera, screen to world point. This transforms a point from screen space into world space. And it requires mouse position. The mouse position needs the X and Y values. However, for the Z position, just pick the main camera value, which is defined like this. Main camera near clip plane. The next thing you have to add is the move direction. It's also a vector tree. Inside you need the world position. Minus transform position. And it should be normalized, which means you have to normalize the move direction and make it smooth. Move direction dot z is zero. This means we don't need to use the z-axis in a 2D project. That's why I need to rename it to rotate direction, because it's the direction that the player rotates by. And the last thing you need is float angle. Math atan. Rotate direction x. No, y because y is the first parameter and x is the second one. This will be multiplied by math rad to deg. This converts the radian to degree. So that kind of conversion 
is used in order to rotate your object on mouse position. The transform rotation is quaternion Euler and the vector tree Euler is actually new vector tree that contains 0 for x, 0 for y and for the z angle it simply contains angle defined in the previous line. Before testing this script you need to introduce the input system. The reason why is because when I try to play this project I cannot get the player to rotate when I move my mouse. So let's see how to fix this problem. Go back to the C sharp script. You need to add the input system input before the void on look and before the void that I defined at the beginning of this tutorial add void awake input new input system this line introduces the input system with the project the reason why it didn't work for me is because I didn't have that line input click look performed you need to add this to ensure that the input action will be loaded properly and make sure to add void on enable and on disable to make the input system disabled when you quit the game and enabled when you play it. So input click look performed plus equal would be in the on enable and minus equal in on disable. Save the script and test it again. Now as you can see, the player is following your mouse position. This looks great, but if you want to add some simple image that will replace that triangle, you might experience this issue. It won't follow your mouse and will be rotated to the other angle. Don't worry. Just make sure to experiment with the angle, set it to 90, 180 or some other number until you get it right. The image that you can import can be added simply by right click to the object and select any sprite that you want and you can edit the image simply by going here. So if you want more tutorials about game development in both 2D and 3D games in Unity consider subscribing and I will make more videos in the future. Have a good day!